Hey there, it's me, Kathy, and welcome. Today I'm having a pasta craving. And in my pantry, I bought this pasta from Misfits Market and it came with no label and no instructions. And I, I'm gonna call it Fusilli or Rotini, but I think I'm gonna stick with Fusilli. And um, in my refrigerator, I had some ham. I've gotten into the habit of um, going to the local deli and buying their ends, ham, cheese ends, meat ends, I can use them for recipes. It helps eliminate food waste, which is what I'm all about. And so I had some ham in my refrigerator and some other ingredients. So today we're gonna have um, creamy, cheesy ham and pea fusilli. And let's follow along and it's gonna be tasty. I have cooked our pasta according to the package directions. Well, no package directions, I just made it up. That's right, I forgot, to, I forgot there was no package directions. Anyway, um, they're nice and al dente, and I've put some olive oil on them to keep them from sticking together. We're going to set them aside, and now we're going to make our sauce and toss it together. Okay, we've got some bubbly butter in a skillet right here. And to that bubbly butter, we are going to add some diced onion. Stir that around. I often, I also happen, happen to have some scallions left over from another recipe, so those are going in as well. And stir that around. Season it with some salt and pepper. And because we're cheesy and creamy, a little nutmeg. And that's gonna go good with the ham and stuff. Okay, we're softening up nicely, and now it's time for some garlic. That is the end of my garlic. I gotta chop up some more, and we're gonna let that go another minute or two till it gets fragrant. Softened up nicely, and now we're going to sprinkle some flour over top and mix it in to coat our vegetables and make sort of a roux. And we're going to cook this down for a little while to get out the starchiness. Okay, the flour is well incorporated and cooked off a bit. And now we're going to add some of that chicken stock that I made. I put a bunch in the freezer so you'll be seeing a lot of this. And the cheese we're going to put in this is going to help thicken it up. And we're going to cream it up with some half and half. But right now we're going to heat this up to the boiling point and see how thick we are. Stirring the whole time, by the way. We have reached our boil and we are thickened up nicely. And the next thing that's gonna go in are some frozen peas. That's gonna kill that boil. I think that's probably enough. But I kept them frozen so they didn't overcook during the rest of this process. So we're gonna let those go for another minute, at which time we're going to add in our diced ham. That particular ham is Virginia baked, but it doesn't really matter what kind. Like I said, I just, I've been buying the ends. And ham is ham. And I had some Gruyere left over from when I made the quiche. I had it in the freezer. And that's going in too. And we're gonna stir this up till it's thickened and creamy. And then we're gonna cream it up with some half and half. Our cheese is starting to melt, so in comes our half and half. This is probably gonna to be too much sauce for the amount of pasta that we have, but the pasta does absorb a lot of it, so we shall see. Our sauce has reached a very nice consistency. You can see it's creamy and hammy and pea and oniony and scalliony. And to brighten it up a little bit, we're gonna give it just a little twinge of lemon zest. You know, when you use lemon in cooking, Best to put it in at the end because lemon can get bitter if it gets too hot. So in goes the zest. And then, and now some juice. Hold your hand up so any seeds fall out, they don't fall in, they fall into your hand. And now we're gonna stir that in as our sauce keeps thickening. And now we're gonna to toss in our pasta, and then we're gonna eat it up. 
I have removed some of the sauce because like I said, I think there's too much sauce for the amount of pasta we have. We can always save this and cook some more pasta at another time and have it again. See how creamy and chunky and tasty that is. And now we're going to toss in our pasta and if we need to add some more sauce, here it is. Okay, in we go with our pasta. This is pretty big and pretty fat and cooked pretty al dente, so I don't know how much absorption this is going to be. Like I said, we may actually need to add some more sauce, but right now we're going to toss that around. Coat all those lovely little curly pastas. And I'm going to throw it all over the stove. Okay, we're all absorbed up and ready to serve. Looking beautiful, colorful, flavorful, and that lemon zest and juice at the end really added a nice, bright finish to this whole thing. So now we're gonna serve it up. Here's our ham, creamy ham and pea fusilli. And I garnished it with a little tiny bit of freeze-dried chives just for a little color. And now we're gonna eat it up. Thank you for joining me while I quenched my pasta craving with some stuff that I had in my pantry and in my fridge. And here is what we look like as a bite. We have our ham, our peas, our pasta, and in we go. So yummy. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. And it's only the beginning of the week, but Flatbed Friday is coming up and I have a nice uh, pizza planned for that day and a couple of other things in the meantime. So let's do it. Thank you.